Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam shows off his latest setup and explains all of these changes he's made. Adam's goal? To show you how you can think about simplifying your computer life. Warning, this video will be extremely boring. Yes, it's true, this video may be exceedingly boring. However, the purpose of this video is to show you how you could potentially simplify your computer life uh, if this topic interests you. Uh, not only does this uh, apply to potential Linux users, but this may also apply to Windows users and Mac users as well. So the big news in my life is that my wife and I are expecting our first child uh, in mid-April. What I quickly came to realize is that my time will be much more of a premium, much more so than it is even now. And what I wanted to do was simplify my computer life. I didn't want to take away the things that I enjoy doing with computers, but I wanted to enhance everything and just simplify everything tremendously. One of the first things I quickly realized when evaluating my old uh, computer setup is that I spend way too much time configuring things just because I have way too many different setups. So for example, uh, before I had my desktop that ran Windows 7, it ran Linux. I had my laptop that ran Windows 7 that also ran Linux. And then I had my old school computer that I kept at work uh, that ran Windows 7 and I had issues getting Linux to work on it so I went and installed Puppy Linux through USB uh, to solve some of my other issues. So if you think about it, I had six different operating systems that I was attempting to keep configured and up to date. And that does not include some of my wife's computers. Uh, she has a netbook and also a desktop that every once in a while she'll ask for my advice on how to do backups and stuff like that. So that's like eight systems that I was trying to keep up to date. I also realized that I would force Linux into situations that didn't entirely re require it. Uh, for example, I mentioned my old school laptop that I keep at work. Uh, so what ended up happening is with the latest Ubuntu 12.04, uh, for whatever reason, the NVIDIA graphics card in there, uh, doesn't. Th there's basically a bug and I can't get the correct resolution on my laptop screen. So I probably spent like a week trying to solve the issue. Uh, and then I found out that I could use uh, uh, the older Ubuntu long-term support, I think it was like 10.04, uh, with Puppy Linux, and everything worked perfectly. So uh, I would actually boot up into my USB stick and run Puppy Linux. And that worked okay, but then I was trying to sync my files through Dropbox, and things just got uh, exceedingly messy. And I soon realized, why am I doing this? Um, I should just run Windows 7. Windows 7 works much, much better in this situation. I shouldn't force Linux in situations that doesn't exactly need it. Um, I really didn't gain a significant benefit by running Linux in this uh, configuration. I even thought about maybe getting a tablet. I thought, oh, well, maybe a tablet will simplify my life. What I ended up realizing is that, uh, one, a tablet will not simplify my life. Um, I've played around with tablets. I just I like a keyboard, so uh, until uh, I can get a docking station or, or a keyboard that attaches, um, I won't be happy. And then at that point, uh, I might as well just carry around a more powerful laptop. I also realized that for my desktop, uh, I need Windows, uh, preferably Windows 7, uh, for all of my gaming with my friends and buddies. So uh, I need... Unfortunately, I, it's a simple fact, if I want to continue gaming, I need a, a Windows 7 setup. I also realized that uh, I love using Linux, uh, especially if I'm not gaming, uh, I'm always in Linux. Um, I just prefer to uh, do all of my other projects in there. Uh, I've even uh, given up video editing in, uh, in Sony Vegas, and I am strictly doing everything in Linux, and uh, thus far I couldn't be happier. So uh, I also want to run Linux full time. So this leads me to my current setup, and uh, I'm in the process of switching everything over. Uh, Essentially what I ended up doing is I ordered a System76 laptop, and that will be a uh, quote-unquote desktop replacement type laptop. Um, and then I'm going to keep my, uh, my desktop, uh, which currently has Linux and Windows on it, dual booting. Um, I will eventually just remove Linux from that, and that will be strictly 100% Windows only. And my laptop um, will be 100% strictly Linux. And then my work laptop, or my old school laptop, that I just keep at work because it's much, much faster than my work desktop, 
uh, will strictly be Windows 7, um, and I'll use Dropbox to sync all of my files. And eventually we will replace my wife's netbook with my netbook slash laptop. It's slightly more powerful than the netbook, and uh, we'll recycle her old netbook. All right, so this is my current setup. Um, you can see the new System76 laptop here. And basically I've just created a docking station. And then down here is my old school desktop. Um, it's approximately uh, three, almost four years old at this point. And uh, you can see uh, I can easily switch between my laptop and my desktop. Um, all I have to do is just unplug uh, these guys here and uh, plug into here, and then I immediately have my keyboard and mouse. So uh, that's how I can uh, quickly switch between my desktop and laptop. And my desktop will only run Windows 7, and the laptop will be 100% completely Linux only. This will make life much, much easier, and um, I can just concentrate on other things uh, other than trying to keep all of my configuration files up to date on all of my uh, many uh, operating system setups. Well, that's about it for my current setup. Hopefully you found this video helpful, uh, even if you are just a Windows user or a Mac OS X user. Hopefully you found this video helpful, at least thinking about how you too can simplify your life, uh, maybe cut down on the amount of operating systems you're running, whatever it is, um, just to make your life uh, much easier. Next week I will go into the System76 laptop review. I didn't want to get into that on this video just because I wanted to give some time to play around with it and see how I like everything uh, but next week uh, we'll definitely go over that review and then after that um, hopefully I get into actual Linux stuff once again. As always thanks for watching and be sure to check out my website greenhornlinux.com